To my right is an actor, but also an author. Wow. Yes. yes. That. I have the book in my hand right here. Joyful Recollections of Trauma. <laughs> uh, the author, Paul Shearer, right. is here on the Rich Eyes yeah. Show. Good What's to see up? you. How I'm are you? I'm excited to be here. What a good day to be here. Thank you. Uh, did you bring your bottle of Opus 1 to put yeah, down on the floor I'm gonna have during it right this interview? <laughs> <laughs> did you, did that, you do that? Like a full LeBron move here or what? LeBron what bringing a bottle of Opus 1. That's the last thing I want to do at a basketball game. Be like pouring out like a little glass of wine. It looks, no matter how expensive it is, it looks lame. To be like, mm, yeah. mm, just sit I, there. I, I I don't know, man. I, he had me at hello when I saw that one. I mean, look at that. By the way, flanked by two bottles of water, so he's hydrating. And a coffee. Looks like some, some caffeine. Yeah. It is a mixture. It's well, a look, witch's brew. For every uh, glass of liquor, brew. you have to drink a glass of water. That's it keeps right. you no That's hangover. Right. Sure. Um, I mean, what do you think? Does this, like, to me, this is creating a scene. I mean, this is all LeBron wants to do is just have a scene go on. I mean, this is like, he's he's taking up more space. If that was a normal person, they'd be like, sir, you can't have 10 bottles underneath your seat here. There's players here. Like, By the way, here's the two things. Again, I can't get past the Opus One. I would treat the Opus One like Chris Finch treats his surgically repaired leg. You know, I'd be in the first row because I am not going to lose a drop of that thing just because somebody's spilling into the first oh, row. You know I what mean, I mean? I mean, if somebody got like Opus One all over them, like, you know, <laughs> like Darius Garland was just covered in Opus One. It's just, <laughs> oh, I can't get this out. This can't, this is a yellow Cavs jersey. It's going to stay. That's right. It's going to stay. <laughs> is, there an, is there an official detergent of the NBA? Did we just stumble on a commercial? <laughs> right, right. Right I, think right the, I think the LeBron should have opened a new bottle of Opus One every uh, quarter. <laughs> just like, no, 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 like, only enough for that. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> like a flight. <laughs> wine tasting. He should have wine tasting through all four courses. He should have just brought a case of wine, put it under the seat, opened it up. And then, uh, I love him. I do room. love LeBron. You can't not love LeBron, but man, oh man, that is a scene. By I the mean, way, now that would have been a scene. He would have been trying to create a scene if he did, in fact, have a flight of wine. Yes. One for each quarter. But why can't the man take in an NBA game? Oh, What's oh, the point? Uh, here's What's the thing. thing? I, I'm more concerned that he's drinking that red wine on those white pants. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> that but, is a bold choice. Bold choice See, LeBron wants people to talk about him, right? I mean, I think that's it. Like he, you know, his post uh, game, his post exit interview was like, I don't know if I'm staying in LA. Bronny's coming. We're going back to the Cavs. I think everyone wants him to go back to the Cavs. That would be the best narrative for him to retire in Cleveland. Don't you think? We're going to miss him when he's gone, man. Oh, that's, yeah. that's what I'm sitting here thinking. Literally, that's just what hit, hit me when I'm thinking. Th everyone says he's trying to create a, uh, a stir. He, he wants to be talked yeah. about. Well, that's great. Yeah. That's great. I, I have no problem with it. It is awesome. One I of the greatest of all time. He should be able to go to a game if he wants to go to a game. But I think he's going to a game for a reason. There's no reason that he's in Cleveland. Well, his mom is there, and it was okay. Mother's Day on oh, Sunday, okay. Paul. Like, all I'm right. trying to connect all dots. Right, like he's I a like human it. being is what like I'm saying. It. He drinks wine. But it's his very wife, good wine. But his wife is here in L.A., and Mother's Day did not spend. Are we breaking a story? Did LeBron know, not spend that, Mother's Day? She's, she's, right she's, she's, oh. she's right next to him. Oh. Yeah. Okay, all right. So she, she I'm, trying to, I'm like, trying to break a story. I'm trying Tom to. Tom Cruise <laughs> going to the movies. He doesn't have to go to the movie theater. <laughs> no, this is he like Tom Cruise. He doesn't need to go to AMC. He's got a theater in his house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I no, I like that LeBron is out. I think that more players should be out. I mean, I feel like that, like, what is it? Um, who was just at the, uh, like, I like when players are watching the playoffs. It's fun. It's yeah. fun to see him in the crowd. And I think LeBron being there, for me, gets me excited because I'm like, I would like to see him go to the Cavs, play with Bronny there. I think it's a low-pressure place for Bronny to play. I also think it would be just a great way to end his career, start and end in Cleveland. I think so, too. I agree. Um, uh, or a great way would be to do it here in L.A. and win a championship for the Lakers and then sure. stroll off into the sunset that way. I guess. I mean, that would be a, a way to go. But pl one last thing on LeBron. I mean, don't you think the players last night, if you yeah. polled them, they were jacked up that he was there, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the fans are jacked up. You, When LeBron is there, it's like the president is coming <laughs> to your game. It's exciting. It's like, and he's going to take that attention, and we're going to look at him in a million different ways. Yes. But if that was like Benny Blanco with, you know, like we, we would have the same, you know, like the same thing. <laughs> Benny Blanco <laughs> catching straight so from Paul Shearer is not on our bingo card. But was, was LeBron wearing Air Force Ones? He was. Uh, okay, so right. the president was there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go.
Also, yeah. though, if you pulled the players, they have to say, oh, it's so cool that LeBron's don't, at the game. It. No player's going to be like, it. yeah, I don't care. I wish he would go away. Wait, let me ask you the real question. Because they don't. You don't think Tatum was like, I'm going to show them. I'm going to gonna show him. They have to but say don't, that. You don't think deep down he really did think that? I don't think they care. Hmm. I, I think that, look, it's... I feel like there's a camaraderie off the court, but these guys are like, I'm bigger than LeBron. I want to be better than LeBron. I sure. think on some level, right? Right. And so I do believe that, like, it's fun that he's there, but I think when LeBron goes, it's not like to support. It's also to create a little aura around LeBron. It's like, I think it's calculated. I don't think it's bad, and I think we should have more calculations like this, but I do think it's calculated. It's the same reason why, like, Luca shows up in a, like, a Camaro, a Camaro wrapped in, like, Jordan sneakers or whatever the hell he's doing. It's a scene. Yeah. It's a, you're like, you want to do it. It's, it's, it's looks. It's Lexus, Lexus looks or whatever, like, when they're walking down the, uh, the runway there. Yeah, yeah I mean, what, you were, and, yeah, right. Fit, no, I, yeah. I didn't SGA show up for the game last night looking like he was in the Matrix? You know what I mean? Like, I love the way SGA dresses and wears his like clothes. He wore those like Mario boots at one point, <laughs> those big red Mario boots. It's like, yeah, I, I like I like those looks. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.